Hello, thank you so much for being here. If we haven't met, I'm Lisa, I'm a musician and I post my covers and original songs here on YouTube every week for the past couple of years now. And today I'm recording a particularly tricky song, so I definitely need to warm up before I start to sing. And in fact, I actually warm up always before I sing anything. And so I thought I'd share with you my everyday warm up routine. It's nothing fancy, it's nothing too advanced or anything like that but it really works for me and of course everybody's voice is different so um, please don't try these exercises if you know you haven't ever sung before or anything like that always go to a singing coach because our voices are so fragile and they're so delicate and we never want to strain them or anything like that so the most important thing is to stay hydrated it's kind of no good to just drink a whole bunch of water like minutes before you're about to sing if you've got a really big performance on a certain day then like from the day before be drinking loads and loads of water but I always like to have a glass of water at hand anyway when I am doing my warm-ups so the first thing I'm going to start with is what's called a vocal fry it's a really weird sound and I'm gonna be doing some weird things <laughs> in these warm-ups um, but I always think warm-ups the weirder the probably the more effective they are so I'm gonna make a low sound I can make and it makes my vocal cords just vibrate together nice and relaxed and so it's just a really nice relaxing way to kind of wake them up um, and it can also show you how healthy your voice is because if the vocal if the sound's not coming out correctly then it means your vocal cords really aren't working as well as they should do and it possibly means that they're tired or strained so it's a good way to check in on your voice before you start to sing so the vocal fry goes like this uh, I don't ever do it for too long and then I always swallow right after I've done it because that really helps drop the vocal cords again so I'll do it one more time uh, and swallow the next thing I do is I do a siren on a lip trill which is a brrr kind of a sound like whenever you're cold and you go brrr that sort of a sound and so I do a siren on that noise so it goes like this and then I do a lower one and it just helps wake all the notes up in my range um, and again it really helps you to learn to sing on the breath because you have to keep a constant airflow to keep that sound working because you know that if you don't have enough air it kind of goes and like nothing comes out so in order to make a consistent sound you have to have really good airflow so it's just again a good way to start singing with the breath right away. After that I do a little scale on the word mini and then I repeat that scale on just an E vowel. So I'm going to uh, warm up my whole range and the mini sound is going to help the sound come really far forward like really place the sound really forward in the mask. And then the E sound is going to help me practice moving really quickly between notes. So it goes like this. Meeny, 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 and I'm going to sing on the ing part of this of the word so that my tongue is going to be pressed right up against the roof of my mouth and that ing sound is really nice and relaxing for the vocal cords it's a nice stretch um, and it again helps me to see if there's any little niggly bits in my voice because again that ing sound has to have a nice constant airflow through it so I sing the word sing and then I open to an a ah on the top so it goes like this and as I'm singing on the mm part of the arpeggio I concentrate on really pulling in my belly button so I'm really supporting the sound with airflow and the 
the next exercise I'm going to share with you, I'm almost a little bit embarrassed to share it. It is one that I kind of came up with myself um, and it's really silly, but I swear it is the best one. So the words are, I would like a sausage roll, which is like one of my favorite foods, which so I'm pretty sure that's how I came up with it. I think I was driving in my car and really wanted to go and get sausage rolls or something like that. I can't remember how I came up with it, but the words are, I would like a sausage roll and I say it in a kind of funny accent so that I really have to roll the R on the word roll, like that, right? Because for me, doing that rolled R sign, I find it really hard. It's a really tricky sign for me to make um, and it takes a lot of breath support to, con to create a consistent R sound, right? So uh, I use this exercise to practice the rolled R and to help again with the breath support so it's really really important to sing with a lot of breath control so um, this exercise helps me to focus on getting that breath control on the rrr sound so it goes like this I would like a sausage roll <laughs> so I really focus on that roll sound and because it's not the highest point of the exercise too that it really helps me to not fall off the top note because I have a terrible habit of thinking that like the top note is like the most important and then I kind of fall off it and all the other notes aren't never nearly as good. So this exercise helps me to concentrate on making the roll the most important note in that little exercise. So I don't think of the note on the word sausage as the most important note. So that way not only does it help me to get the breath control on the word roll but it also helps keep the word sausage nice and light because I'm not like thinking about it too much and it kind of just comes out freely. I do this right the way up my range. I would like a sausage roll. I would like a sausage roll. I would like a sausage roll. And then to finish everything off, I do another vocal fry. Uh, and then I drink some water. And then I do it again. Uh, and then I finish the rest of my water. And that's it. Um, usually it takes me like five minutes to do that. I usually do it in the car whenever I'm driving to a gig. About like ten minutes before I get to the venue, I'll start to sing in the car. So I'm sure people driving past wonder what I'm doing all the time. Let me know if you try out any of the exercises because I'd love to hear your thoughts on them. And thank you so much to everyone who supports me on Ko-fi. If you would like to support this channel, um, it would really help me out. It helps me to keep working at this and to keep improving this channel. I'll leave a link to my Ko-fi page in the description box below. It's a site where you can support artists. And in return, um, you can access all of the MP3s of all my cover songs and originals. And I also send, send out some exclusive stuff there too as well sometimes. And if you did enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, at the time of recording this, I'm so close to my goal of reaching 1,000 subscribers. So if you can help me out, help me reach my goal, I'd really, really appreciate it. Thanks again, and I'll see you all next time.